What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy. Today, man, I'm out with Jay and Jay. I just picked him up, and uh, we're about to go on a nice little cruise. It is the end of the work week, and your boy needs some wind therapy. Some wind therapy. Although it's been a really good week, guys. It was a nice short week. My boss ended up giving me Monday off. If you saw the last vlog, you saw how I spent it. Wow, that pipe sound crazy underneath that bridge. But yeah, man, so we are out today. It's Friday. And uh, today, guys, to be completely real with you, I'm in a really, really, really good mood. I'm feeling super duper grateful because I got a random call this morning from... Um, I'm just gonna be straight up. Yeah, I got a random call from my boss, and it was just dope because the call was just really just thanking me for being a good working employee. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I'm a business guy. You know, I have a very entrepreneurial mindset, but you know what I'm saying? I have a job. You know what I'm saying? I have a day job, and I'm really, really good at my day job. And it's dope that at this company that I'm working for now. I'm recognized because when I got my job out of college working for the big trucking and transportation business I put in a lot of hard work but I felt like my hard work really wasn't uh really wasn't appreciated like I felt like it should have been whereas you know at this current you know position that I have my hard work is really appreciated and uh you know what I'm saying? He put something behind that. I'm not going to say what he put behind it, but let's just say it was very respectable. It was very, very, very respectable. So your boy is happy. Your boy is in a good mood. And it's just dope because it's just cool when people value you. You know what I'm saying? It's cool when people value all the hard work you put in. When you have a day job, you know, you invest a lot of time into a company. You know, not only do you invest your eight hour shift Monday through Friday, but you also got commute time that you got to get there. And it's, it's a lot, man. So it's just a blessing, man. It's just a blessing to be with a company that, uh, that values me and respects me the way I value me and respect me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy. I was telling my boss today when he called me, I was like, it's crazy because, you know, when I left that big trucking and transportation business, I really did not want to go back to a traditional type job because I was scared that things were going to be how they were, um, like they were at that big company I worked for. And it's just a blessing, man, because God is faithful. When you're praying for something, God hears your prayers. And God is a way maker. I did not think he could make a way like the way he's made with this position. But it's just a blessing. And God does it, man. Even when you don't see a way, he has a way. He has a way. But it feels good smelling these fumes. It's a little cooler out here today, man. It's only about 70 degrees right now. But it's Friday. The boys was trying to kick it. Dom was working on home improvement. I was like, I'm out here. I'm out here. funny somebody had commented in one of my videos it was like hey Dev you know what I'm saying like one of the reasons I subscribed is for that substance bro you gotta give me something while I'm while I'm watching you rise so you know I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of that man put a little bit more substance into my videos always try to have some value when I'm posting something because at the end of the day y'all YouTube is dope YouTube is one of my hobbies and I started it really as a way of giving people an inside of my life hoping to inspire people so I'm gonna stick to my roots with my channel and one of the big things that you guys see in my life is motorcycles. I like to get out and ride. This is one of my stress reliefs. Can't even speak my stress reliefs and uh, and it's one of the things I really enjoy doing. And it's cool because I've introduced a lot of people to this, man. I'm surprised how many people watch the videos 
and it'll say stuff like, man, watching y'all has motivated me to get a bike. That's just dope, man. That's super dope. So we just gassed up at the gas station. Now we about to, uh, we are headed to Cleveland. Why not? About to make a little push up here. Might stop and get some Mitchell's ice cream. Might get some food. I don't know. I'm hungry and I got a taste for some Mitchell's. So we'll see what's up when we get up there, but about to make a little push. Got some Petro, some gasoline, some gas. And we ready to roll. Man, my tire's spinning today, y'all. It's spinning. Lately, it's been hooking and coming up, but not today. Bad boy's spinning like a mug. bit cooler out here today. <laughs> I ain't rolled in like the chilly weather in a little minute. It feel a little different. It feel good though because I ain't did it in a while but it's just different. It feel like it's fall out here or something. motorcycle addiction began so I figured since I got a nice little ride in front of me I'll tell you a little bit about how I got to introduce the bike and how motorcycle riding has become such a big addiction of mine so for those of you who don't know if this is your first time tuning in <laughs> my dad rides a motorcycle right so my dad has three bikes my dad has a 2008 GSXR 1000 he has a 2015 Harley-Davidson Street Glide Special and then he has a 2009 Harley-Davidson Springer CVO and my dad has had bikes around me my whole life like ever since I was a kid my dad was always that dad that had motorcycles around me so I was always that little kid that would always be like dad dad take me for a ride take me for a ride and that's what it was so I remember vividly, y'all, vividly being a kid, and my dad used to go ride with the boys. You know, he used to go ride with Angelo, ride with some of the other fellas y'all see in my videos. And I used to be so mad at my dad, because I was like, Dad, you know, throw me on the back, let me ride. And he was like, no, nah, you know, and now I know why, but he was like, no, nah, you know, you can't ride with us. If something happened to me, I don't want you being on the back. Now I know, you know, when he jump out, you know. When we jump out on these bikes, we be in business. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> a little dangerous for a little kid to be on the back. But, yeah, I remember vividly, man. On Wednesday nights, a lot of the boys used to meet up at, uh, at my dad's house to go to bike night. And they used to all pull up. And I was that little kid watching every single one of them pull up. And then I would just dream, y'all. Your boy would dream of the day that I could hop out on these motorcycles and go out riding with him 
his boys, my boys, and just kick it, man. And that's really how it started, man. And then I remember I would wait up at home for him for when he would come home. So he would typically come home between 9 and 10. And at the time, when I was young like that, he only had one bike. He only had a sport bike. So the last bike he had, that he still has, was that 2008 GSX-R 1000. And y'all know he got that Brock Spool Performance exhaust on that bike. So I used to wait till I heard it coming down the street. And when I heard it, I would shoot outside. And I would watch him put it back in the garage, you know, put it back up on the stands. And every once in a while, he would throw me on the back and we'd go for a little cruise. I remember one night, your boy was, uh, I don't know how old I was. I was probably like 13, 14. And I was still too young to ride. Jay trying to get some footage. But anyways, I was too young to ride at the time. And I remember saying, Dad, hey, can you take me for a ride? This night it was funny because I had the helmet out and I was ready man I had his extra seat out because he always had the seat cow on because he was never riding nobody on the back of the bike I actually think we want to go this way this dude he be in his own world But yeah, I remember one night, man, I had the seat out, I had the helmet out, I was ready. And he ended up taking me for a ride, y'all. And this dude did a wheelie, and I almost lost my stuff, y'all. I'm like, what in the world, because I wasn't ready. And I didn't know what he was about to do. And you know that 1000, they come right up. So he cracked that thing, and I was looking dead at this guy. Bikes have always been around me, guys, and it's just been something that I've wanted to do. <laughs> Young's up there like, bro! <laughs> These boys crazy, but yeah, it's just always something I wanted to jump out and do, man. And when I turned 16, my dad let me get the 07 Ninja 250, and it's really been on and popping ever since. We are creeping up on downtown Cleveland, baby! I did not think we were coming up here today. I thought we were about to hit some country roads, but... I figure why not make a push up to the land real quick? Y'all see that skyline over there? Looking beautiful! Yeah, while we up here, I think we're about to go over to the pier real quick. And then, uh, after we leave the pier, probably go get some Mitchell's ice cream or something. We need to grab something to eat. I'm hungry for real. really making motorcycle noises while I be riding sometimes. If I gotta stop real fast, like I didn't even realize I just did it, but I did. Pipes be 
sounding crazy. Every time I ride this bike, I'll be like, man, oh man, these pipes. You worked at the stadium? Yeah. I didn't know that. I worked at the stadium. Wow. That's my first high school job ever. Oh, okay. That's crazy. I can ride it Oh, okay. Man, I'll tell you what. It is so much better riding with you now with that pipe on. Oh, okay. It is so much more enjoyable. It makes so much Yeah, like it'd be so relaxing before it was like, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, oh my God. Man. up on the pier guys group it up on the pier over there is the rock and roll hall of fame guys and then this is a cool little spot y'all haven't been down here before on the vlog but if you haven't a lot of bikes like to hang out down here before they go riding See if anybody down here tonight. It's also a ship. Y'all see that ship over there? It's called Good Time, but a lot of people come out, I guess, to have a good time, go hop on the ship, go on a little cruise on Lake Erie. It's a popular spot in the summertime in Cleveland. Wow, no bikes down here. Actually, a few. That's why I say it's not likely, like, you don't see a bike down here. So we just missed the pack. Hi. Let's see what kind of bikes they own down here. Cause why not? Kind of crowded and it looked like that dude was about to say something uh, if we would have stopped and parked for a second. It was like a parking dude standing right there. So instead of that, Probably doing the same thing as us. Just passing through for a second, seeing uh, seeing if anything was going on. Okay, okay. A Jixer, a CBR. It looks like a Yamaha. Dude got the full track suit on. He mean business. He mean business, y'all. Just 
wanted to roll through real quick, but on the for real, man, I'm hungry and I want some ice cream. I don't know if I should get food or if I should wait till we get back local to get some food. I might wait till we get back local, go get some pita pit or something. That's what I might do. I don't know. I might get some ice cream now and then when we get back to Akron, I might go get some of that. Choices, man. Choices. Choices. So I'm thinking maybe we slide over there and get some ice cream. And then uh, when I get back, I might get some pita pit. Yeah, if Dom ain't cook nothing. Campbell laughing at me. Be real, man. I be needing my ice cream. It's funny, man. This pipe be demanding or commanding attention, man. <laughs> People be looking like, whoa. And I'll be the same way. When a motorcycle coming down the street, I'll be looking like, whoa. And randomly, at some random light in Cleveland. <laughs> Bro, you are crazy, man. What is wrong with you? You are on a Ninja 300. Just ride it. <laughs> this dude is so crazy. I don't even gonna lie, that rubber smell good, though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> man, dang. We have made it. Y'all see that ZR1 parked over there looking mean, man. Looking mean. That was a fun ride, bro. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it's, I, I always love just cruising through Cleveland. I forgot to show y'all, man. I got one little drop of my blue Cosmo left, man. <laughs> this bitch was just so far, man. Kicking it with the boys, you know. But I had to show y'all, man. I had to show y'all. All right, guys, we have had a legendary trip to Mitchell's Ice Cream, man. We have had fun cruising through uh, Cleveland on the bikes. That was actually uh, Campbell's first time cruising through downtown on the bike, so. But yeah, man, we had a blast. And we about to make this push back to AK Arody. Your boy has about made it home, man. About 10 minutes from the crib. I'm about to end this video here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another one, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little vlog. We had a blast jumping out this evening. And man. We'll be back at it tomorrow, man. I'll probably be bringing you guys along with us tomorrow. We might be making a push to uh, to Geneva on the lake. So stay tuned for the next video. Of course, it won't come out the next day right after I post this video. But you get what I'm saying. Stay tuned. Always remember, man, when God is in it, there is no limit, guys. Your dream life is out there. All you got to do is go get it. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.